Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix COD World of War on Windows 10 with the Magic DXVK wrapper, which if you've been following my content on YouTube, you know I've been um, having great success with DXVK generally with old titles, mainly older stuff, but it also does seem to work well with some recent stuff. Obviously, as it just translates the calls, the X11 calls and the X9 calls, then the X10 into Vulcan. But specifically for older titles, it's like it's a miracle worker. It's fantastic, and it's definitely a must try. If the game is not working, slap the XVK on it, and chances are it, it is gonna work. And it it is the case with this game that originally, without the DXVK, obviously just straight up refuses to run. You click on play, screen goes black, then it minimizes, it, it minimizes itself, it's rinse and repeat, it doesn't work. Checking the discussions, I saw lots of people with the same issue, and they've been told to run on compatibility mode with Windows XP, but that didn't work for me, so the XVK time it was. And I'm gonna be showing you all the steps so that you can fix your stuff as well and get your game up and running. So, step number one, you're gonna go down in the video description, there's gonna be a link down there to GitHub. You go there, you click and download that very file, the xvk192.tar.gz. And then you're gonna need a WinRAR or 7-zip or anything like that to unzip that stuff. So, we're gonna be using WinRAR for this one. And then I, I got to do a little bit of explaining here. So there's two folders. There's 32 and 64. So if it's a 32-bit application, you use the 32, obviously, and it goes on respectively. So, but there's a catch. For some people, apparently, uh, taken from my Saints Row comments mainly, I've seen people having issues with 32-bit not working, and they had great success with 64. But generally, as a roll of thumb, go with 32 initially, because it is a 32-bit application. But if it doesn't work for some reason, then try 64. If both don't work, I'm, I'm really sorry, but it's, it should work. Uh, so you take the 32 stuff, D3, D9 DLL and DXGI. The only files you're going to be needing here, because it's not DX10, it's not DX11, it is DX9. So that and that, and you drag that into the game folder. As simple as that. It doesn't get any easier than that. So you drag the files in, as you can see, they are already in there. And uh, it's fixed. That's it, the game's gonna launch. As simple as it can possibly be. And I'm gonna be showing you guys right now via a quick demonstration. I'm gonna be launching the game, playing it a little bit so that you guys can see actually it loads up and plays just fine. Not gonna be playing much because it's late, as you can tell, it's 7 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed. It's not late, I mean, it's early, but... Ah, uh, you get a point. Let's play the game. Uh, that's... Awkward, but never mind, I close the game normally. It's because it has an issue on Windows 10 where it doesn't actually close, so you gotta go on Task Manager and close it manually. Under Steam, it's gonna be right under Steam. You click on Steam, it's gonna be one of the 10 uh, thingies that are running. And then you close the game itself. It's going to be there. Hot World of War. You just close it and then it closes just fine. It didn't really crash per se. Oh my god, it happened again. No. No, it didn't. There you go. We have the game right there. It was just a <laughs> scare. Ooh, amen. Okay. So we're going to go. And uh, I should probably uh, lower the volume on this because... Oh, it is. Okay, it's lowered well enough. Now, yeah, great. All right, so let's get rid of MSI. Actually, let's not get rid of MSI. Uh, solo resume game. Yes. We're all numb by Sullivan's death. We just never saw it coming. I Show how it performs. Uh, I think it's frame rate limited at 91. Not really sure about that. As you can see, 91 FPS. No compromises there. Oh no, did it take me all the way back? No, it didn't. Okay, great. Let me just show you the settings. So, uh, game options. Graphics. Never mind. See, 1080p, 60 hertz. Uh, aspect ratio on auto. 
anti-aliasing and all the stuff, everything maxed out. Insane number of corpses. Texture filtering is on extra, so all maxed out as far as it can possibly go. So, yep, fully maxed out. As you can see, 91 FPS. It is the greatest thing ever. It plays very nicely, no stutters whatsoever. Oopsie, I missed that. Look at that. It's just fantastic. And then you can finally play the game the way it's meant to be played. Like a champ. Take that, bro. Take that. Take that. Well. Just kind of... Mm hmm but yeah i think uh that shows enough how well it runs and you can tell it is indeed working i played there for longer than two hours and i had no crashes whatsoever it ran as perfectly as it could possibly run it's definitely fixed it doesn't have any visual glitches so it looks just the same as it always did back in the day so you ain't getting any compromises when it comes to the overall visual acuity of the game, it's just the same way it has always been. So there's that. And, as you can see, performance is just about great. It doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't use a lot of graphics card. And the frames are... Basically, they go as high as they can possibly go. Within the game's own limitations, engine limitations, I would assume. Unless there's a way to unlock the frame rate, which I don't know, but... It's been locked at 91, no stutters whatsoever. When it does stutter, it's because it's running off an external hard drive, which does probably uh, change a little bit how the game behaves, uh, loading time-wise and stuff, because you know it's not ideal as far as data throughput in general, but still. Uh, the point is that it does work. With that being said, I I think it's enough demonstration here. It's fixed. So I'm going to save and quit. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick uh, guide on how to fix it. And if you guys have any questions, don't be shy. Uh, comment section is right down below. I'm, uh, I'm always glad to help. So if you guys have any questions, any feedback as well, it's much appreciated. You all have a great one. And also... A happy new year, which I forgot to say during my uh, first video of the year, for which was about PES. Talked a little bit about the game's modding potential and stuff, and I completely forgot that we're into 2022. So y'all have a happy, happy new year. And um, oh, enjoy and stay safe. But most importantly, um... <laughs> Actually, most importantly, what? Why did I even say most importantly? I have nothing else left to say. Y'all have a great one. I'm just kind of tripping because it's, it's late. I've been awake for so long now. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye.